Good morning, Papa. A couple things that I found that I didn't even get a chance to DIY yet. So we're gonna do a couple thrift flip projects today. I also finally got my rug for one section of my living room that I want to lay down, and I'm praying that it's a rug that I love. You see this, right? I I don't understand. A little bit of my spiritual morning routine, I want to say. I get so many messages from you that you want to know a little bit more about my faith. So I'm just gonna share what I do, give you a little bit of snippets as to why we do it. Let's get on making those sushi waffles. I'm so happy. Do you want to show them? You want to show them how you crawl? Look at this, you guys. up it's Haley and welcome back to my channel oh you guys I don't know if you can tell my voice is a little bit horsey I actually have a cold it's that time of year fall season is blooming and that definitely means that the colds are coming so I skipped the coffee today and I actually ended up brewing myself a really big pot of ginger lemon tea with peppermint I feel like peppermint always cools down my throat the ginger is a really really great immune booster and obviously the lemon is a nice boost of vitamin C and then as you guys could tell for breakfast I just made myself a Caesar salad and avocado toast but I'm gonna be sipping this throughout the day Naomi Naomi actually woke up super early today, so I already set her down for her first nap. And I think that was actually the first time that I showed you guys a little bit of my spiritual morning routine, I want to say. This is actually something that I do every morning, but I thought that I actually wanted to show it to you guys. With everything going on in the world right now, I have definitely been feeling really heavy lately, and I know a lot of you guys have as well. I've talked about it already on my Instagram, and I told you guys, I want YouTube to be like a really good space for like lighthearted content. But I did want to tell you guys that I have been finding a lot of reassurance and help through prayer. This is actually my Sidur book. You guys know that I'm Jewish and there are actually a couple blessings that we're supposed to say every single morning when we wake up. They're pretty much just blessings, thanking God for everything that he's given us, for allowing me to wake up, to open my eyes, to be able to walk. Every basic thing that you would think is such a given is truly such a blessing. And because I may get some questions I've been posting on Instagram every time I'm praying that I'm wearing a little headscarf. The reason being is that Orthodox women are actually supposed to be covering their hair after they get married. Whether it be a headscarf, many women women also wear wigs. You guys know that I don't cover my hair all the time like a lot of the orthodox modest women, but I did take upon myself that at least during times of prayer or on Shabbat and on holidays, I do cover my hair with one of these like little bandanas. But yeah, I've just been really, really trying to get in touch with speaking to God more, praying a lot more, especially in hard times like these. But we are pulling through, definitely. So I'm gonna get on with my breakfast. You know that in my last video, I actually went thrifting for the house and we got so many amazing home stuff. In that video, I actually showed you guys these chairs that I'm sitting on. I thrifted these for $10 and I reupholstered them myself without sewing. So if you guys haven't already seen that video, go ahead and check it out. It was my last thrift with me. But in that video, there was a couple things that I found that I didn't even get a chance to DIY yet. So we're gonna do a couple thrift flip projects today. I also finally got my rug for one section of my living room that I wanna lay down and I'm praying that it's a rug that I love. And our fridge is completely empty. So we are definitely in need of doing some cooking today too. I have a couple ideas on what I'm gonna make for dinner, but I'll definitely take you guys along and show you what I make because you always love dinner inspiration ideas. I mean, who doesn't? Oh yeah, just wash my hands and that is something that I usually do also that I don't always include in the vlogs But I think that I am going to start I'm only sharing this stuff because I get so many messages from you that you want to know a little bit more about my faith So I'm just gonna share what I do give you a little bit of snippets as to why we do it So when it comes to food, we actually always bless our food before we eat it It's actually a mandatory thing and a big reason as to why we do that is because in our religion We strive to elevate everything in this physical world. So when it comes to food, we need food to nourish our bodies We need food to be strong. We need food to survive just 
just like it's an essential it's a god-given essential kind of like a lot of christians say grace we actually do a blessing on the food in order to elevate it and bring it onto a spiritual plane but it definitely allows you to feel a little bit more grateful for everything that you have you know how people do these like gratitude five minute journals those are great but it kind of makes you intentionally be grateful for those first five minutes of your day now imagine giving that reassurance of being grateful before you do anything so before you bless your food even if i'm going out to do an errand there's a saying that you say so that we arrive to our destination safely because sometimes when we live our life we really think that things are a given when they're not so even as soon as we wake up in the morning there's a phrase that we say i'm gonna pop it up on the screen here and it basically just thanks god for returning our soul back into our bodies because it does leave when we sleep again this these are all just things within the jewish faith i know that a lot of religions have a lot of similarities but please note that we don't try to convert people like that is not a goal in our life i'm really just sharing because i've been asked so much with all that i would love it if you guys comment down below if you observe a specific religion and if you do which one it is i'd love to know where our audience is from what you believe in what you follow because i'm very very aware that this is not just a jewish community it really is a beautiful cultural mosaic of so many different people so comment it down below so i could just get to know you a bit better oh looks like naomi's starting to stir i gotta finish this up and then go get her all right well i'm gonna show you guys what i'm looking at here before i grab naomi yesterday was sunday which is my cleaning day hence why it looks cleaner than usual but we still got the old rug here and then we have the pile of a bunch of stuff right over here so as you guys know i've been really wanting to get a rug for this area right here i thought it would just cozy it up a lot more because the marble floors are just very very white and so just yesterday we got delivered the huge new rug from target we also got the new coffee table and then here are just a couple of my thrift finds that we found on the last thrift trip a couple vases that we are going to be diying some things we're going to be putting up on the wall i mean really exciting stuff the thing i am most nervous about is the rug so that's going to be the first thing that i do but naomi's already awake i'm going to go grab her and let her play here while we work in that area hi naomi hello Good morning, Papa. Good morning. Hi, I'm excited. I'm excited to see you too. You guys, Naomi is officially crawling, so that means most of the time I actually kind of like let her crawl around the house. Yeah, do you want to show them? You want to show them how you crawl? Look at this, you guys. Yay! She's, oh no, she's literally coming towards the vlog camera right now. <laughs> oh. But yeah, you guys, because she's officially crawling now, I'm doing my best to keep the floor as clean as possible because I think she really enjoys having that freedom to like go everywhere. We just made sure to baby proof everything and now she can be just a free girl pretty much going wherever she wants. So I'm just gonna leave her to kind of crawl and explore here while we work on the home stuff. Naomi, you are too young to start vlogging, my darling. <laughs> Don't you know me by now, babe? Rugs, mirrors, chairs. How are you? <laughs> she always steals your glasses. <laughs> I don't get it. When I look at it like this, it's perfect. But when I look at it in the mirror, it's like white. I don't under Come on. Isn't that weird? Guys, this is what I'm seeing. But like, look, look, look. Yeah, what the heck? The illusion. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So you were turning No, it? like this, I don't like this. The whole point is that I was going to film content and stuff. But like, I wanted to look like this. Guys, that is like the weirdest thing ever. Like, please tell me. You see this, right? I, d I don't understand. In the mirror, it looks like it's totally white. Listen, if there's anything that this proves, the space it definitely does need a rug i do think it adds a lot but it needs to be so much darker like right now it literally just looks as white as the floor which again it's not i just can't explain it looks like i may have to go back to target and return this <laughs> because that's truly the thing with makeovers it usually takes a lot longer than expected as it should you don't need to furnish your home so quickly it's better to choose things that are genuinely going to be good for your space i'm just really bummed because i i really really do like this rug maybe it's not printed properly like that that's stunning if it looked like that that would be perfect i i don't get it <laughs> Let's hope that this next project will be better. But like I mentioned in the last video, I actually did some thrifting. I went ahead and got myself a couple vases because I do want to have more greenery in this space and I have some ideas to maybe put some like eucalyptus leaves or even some cute dainty flowers in these. And in the video I mentioned, when you're looking for vases, don't pay attention to the color because that can always be changed. The more important thing is to find something that has really nice texture. So just like this or a really good shape. I absolutely love this water pitcher. Like I said, I've been seeing a lot of like dainty flowers being put in pictures 
textures like this. The design is super cute. I just don't think it really matches my aesthetic so much. So I am going to go ahead and spray paint this as well. I found this like really awesome cane tray for just $3. I love the cane webbing here on the side. I thought that would be really nice to put on top of a coffee table. And then this one I thought would be really cool as either like wall decor or even as a tray as well. I have to figure out where I want to put it. I did buy myself another vase that I just love the way it looked on its own, but I literally just now broke it. And I'm so sad because guys, look at this. This was a $6 vase and the shape of it, it's not just me. This is literally something that I'm seeing so much on Pinterest and the original vases and these shapes are so expensive. I am so bummed that I broke it. Maybe I can go ahead and glue it back on and use some wood filler to fix it. I don't know. We, we've got a few fails going all around today, but that's okay. I'm going to take you guys back to that same day that I went ahead and bought the spray paint so you can see exactly which ones I was looking for. The sun has finally come out. I just came back from a nail appointment, but now I'm actually parked right outside of Home Depot, you guys. I'm gonna take you in with me and show you exactly the kind of paint of what I was thinking. Okay, here is the paint section, and we are specifically gonna be heading into the spray paints. All right, you guys, so because of the fact for the vases, I wanna keep it a very, very neutral color. I'm thinking to layer on two different spray paints. One is going to be a flat color. The rest of them ones are my favorite, and I have to say from all of these, I am leaning more towards the smoky beige because I do want it to have a little bit of like like a creamy undertone and then to get that kind of stone texture they actually have these spray paints right here which are literally that you could see it's a little bit roughed over here they're finally in stock of this color which i love so much they do have this one as well if you're looking for a darker tone and that's all we really need to get that textured stone and hopefully it'll turn out nice And we got the spray paints. Let's take this outside and get to spray paint it. This better turn out good. Can't take another failure today. <laughs> okay, well, we are back in my backyard. And as you guys can see, I just lined down some plastic not to get my table dirty. I also went ahead and actually wiped these down with some alcohol and wipes because you want to be sure to try to get rid of all the possible grease on them so that the spray paint can stick better, even though this is actually very strong spray paint already. Give it a good shake. And something really important to remember is that you want to make sure to do thin, even coat. You want to do nice, consistent, even layers so that you don't have any leakage and on top of that sometimes if you do too thick of layers it takes way too long to try and it ends up denting you also want to remember to go ahead and spray paint a little bit of the inside as well because obviously when you do put some plants or something it's going to show there too all right but these are already looking significantly better that's going to be one coat i actually think two is going to be enough so i'm going to let that dry for now while i do the rest of my errands and then we'll come back and add in that texture spray for the finishing touch all right well i'm officially on to mug number two right now but while our spray paint project is drying i thought i would go ahead and prepare lunch slash dinner but if you have seen one of my earlier vlogs you know that i went to target and i actually found some something super random there that I cannot wait to try. I found this mini waffle maker. And the reason as to why I wanted to pick this up is because something I've been seeing go viral on TikTok are these sushi waffles. Egan and I love crispy rice. Whenever we go out to restaurants, we always order it. It's super expensive though. And honestly, as long as you've got some like sushi grade fish and whatever toppings you like, you can easily make it at home. These TikToks and reels just make it look like it's such an easy thing to make. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that today. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it as well so you can try it at home too. The size is perfect, a perfect portion for one person. Well, let's be real. Me and Elon are probably going to have two or three each, but we like to eat. What can I say? So I'm going to go ahead and make my sushi rice. Let me tell you something that is the biggest ripoff ever. Whenever you go to a grocery store and you buy sushi rice, like it literally says sushi rice, it's usually so much more expensive. It's a marketing ploy, you guys. All you really need is like sticky round rice. So the rice that we use, Bukharians use it all the time in all their dishes. It's actually Cal Rose rice. This one is great because it's super starchy and it gets like that sticky consistency that you want in sushi. The sushi rice is like seven dollars and this is like three if you have a rice cooker then all power to you you can go ahead and use it but i am very old school cooking directions for rice is the easiest thing you just need water salt and then the exact ratio of how much it says so here it says for one and a half cups of rice you need two cups of water i'm gonna do like three cups of rice so we're gonna do four cups of water for that give it a good rinse and you want to rinse it until the water runs clear and all that exterior starch is gone. Okay, water is almost done boiling. And don't forget to salt it pretty generously. And then to cook it, literally, as soon as the rice starts boiling, you start seeing those bubbles come up. Turn it down to like two or low, close it with a lid and just let it sit there for like 15, 20 minutes and your rice is ready. That's simple. Okay, well, Aliyah's gonna be home soon. I wanna quickly finish this spray paint project before she gets home. I've never used a stone spray paint before, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm gonna try to kind of spray it at a distance. And I don't know, guys, we're just gonna wing it here. Starting with this one. Oh, 
guys that looks incredible okay i'm actually shook look at the difference this is what it looked like when we just had the base the base coat it looks like too perfect but then when we added the texture you can literally see that it looks like i bought it that way okay let's do it here too oh my god yes i feel like on the picture this looks even better you guys for real these look so good and surprisingly i think i only used maybe like 30 percent to cover both of these i can't wait for those to dry at least it looks like one of the projects was not a failure today and yet another rug that we have to return i can't believe it Your girl is hungry, so let's get on making those sushi waffles! Come show everybody where you put your shoes. Abba Sam is the floor. Abba puts Abba. there. Come in, Bivrit. You want sushi waffle? No sushi waffle. Half one. Only one? Only one sushi? Okay. Oh, the hug! Give me love! Give me love! Give me love! Yeah. You want to talk to them? Say hello. Say what's up, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Aliyah's beauty salon. She makes uh, men beautiful, women beautiful, with her special formula of spray. I didn't bring a bathing suit. Okay, today's uh, first October about fitness. We have uh, hundred pound shoulder press. <laughs> For Naomi, I actually made her some of this veggie patty. We get them from Costco. They're actually really good and they cook super, super soft. They've got a ton of vegetables. The only thing I watch out for is that they do kind of have these like little lima beans, which I feel like she can eat it, but just in case, because they're round and slippery, I do take them out before I give it to her. But she's a really big fan of this. It's also just a really good option for a dinner idea for something that's quick and you just keep it in the freezer. And then Aaliyah is eating some porridge, I guess you want to say. It's a Bukharian dish. She really likes it. <laughs> When you love a living thing. Oh, thank you. Kisses. I've also. When you love a living thing like I love my turtle, you hold it with gentle hands. <laughs> Sandwich. No, that's Sammy. Come on. Tevilia die. Tevilia die. As you guys can see, we're literally only getting to dinner now. It is 7.15, the girls are already sleeping. I have all my toppings over here, as you can see. Egon and I love raw fish, so we're gonna have raw fish on all of them, hence why there's so much sauce in this. Then we got some imitation crab. Imitation, because we keep kosher. It is still fish because it's made of fish, but no actual crab in here. And then we got some cucumbers. Ideally, I wish I would have had a real avocado. I only have like the avocado mash, but it kind of tastes like guacamole, which just doesn't make sense for this. And I'm really hoping that this will work because some people do this, and their rice comes out looking so crispy and then some people do it and it doesn't look crispy at all a little spritz here and there Taylor is like patiently waiting for the sushi i think it's gonna be good but i don't know because some people do it and it looks very like light and some people do it and it looks like it's actually been like fried it kind of worked 
kind of. Yeah, more oh. or less. Guys, this is what the waffle looked like. I think just because this waffle maker is so tiny, it takes a lot longer than I thought. I think I have to keep like each thing in the toaster for like seven minutes. You just get a bigger waffle maker. A bigger one. giant can. Knowing you, you would eat it like a pizza. Uh, of course. But. It is super crispy. So it did technically work. I made one for me and for Iran and we have more on the way. We got all of our toppings and Iran's million sauces. Like literally he puts every single one of those things on his sushi. <laughs> all right, babe, let's get to building. I finished mine in literally a minute and then he's gonna be working on his so much longer. Makes his name. Two hours later. Oh yeah, sushi sandwich. I told you when we see something on Instagram, it's very rare that people actually follow through with it. Ten out of ten recommend follow through with this. Mm, yum, you guys. But with all that, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. We've had a lot of fails, but we've actually had quite a bit of successes also. If you are watching up to this point, you're the real MVP. We love the ones to stick around all the way till the end, don't we? we you do. guys have an extra really special place in our heart. Comment down below if you're watching up to this point and you're an MVP. Comment down below waffles or the waffle emoji or the fish and waffle emoji. I literally feel like this living room makeover is taking forever but you know good things take time and hopefully by the time everything is done you'll see the whole experience but thank you all again so much for watching and we can't wait to see you in our next one bye bye oh my god you're already done yeah i'm out of the second one mm, 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 so good